I think the police probably will have statistics to back out all over the years. In fact, I think I'm right in saying that these particular premises that we're talking about today were actually uh, closed down. Now, uh, Simon has actually indicated that some of, this, some of these decisions might have been taken before their current records were being kept. But well, I think I'm right in saying that the premises we're talking about today have previously been, been closed down. Now, there are already a number of other premises in this area selling alcohol, and local people are really totally appalled at the prospect of yet another outlet which is located between two primary schools. And as a council, I would submit that we should be doing everything we can to assist residents to protect their children from the fallout of easy access to alcohol and the associated criminal and antisocial behaviour that follows it. People behind me and many others have to live in this area, they have to put up with this situation every day, and the last thing they want is another licence application going through, which is only going to add to the problems they've experienced in the past. Local residents are not asking for the will, they just want to raise their children in peace and security, and that's the point they put very strongly to us at their local council. They're very adamant that they don't want to be parents of the type of behaviour, antisocial behaviour and violent crime that occurred in some cases many years ago. They don't want to go back to those days. And they strongly feel that by allowing another outlet to come into the area selling alcohol will only add to the conditions that they've suffered in the past. Birkenhead Town Centre generally is suffering already because too many licences have been granted the licensees who in some cases, not all, in some cases act irresponsibly by selling alcohol to street drinkers and the street drinkers' antisocial behaviour then causes huge problems, not just for local residents, but for other people who might be going to work in their town centre to, to do shopping, to visit friends, relatives or whatever. Now, as a member of the Stronger Communities Initiative Assembly myself, as a local councillor, based in there, I've seen a fair hand the magnificent efforts of many good, decent, local people living in the area who are trying to do positive work for the whole of Birkenhead Town Centre. But at the same time, many of the good work has been done, been totally undermined by some of the irresponsible acts of people who've been engaged in street drinking, uh, etc. Now, we've heard today, uh, in fact, you know, the sergeant did actually say that he got an email this morning about the Seven Beats project. And I've been advised about the Seven Beats project as a local councillor. And it seems a very, very positive initiative to address many of the problems that occur now in Birkenhead Town Centre. And I would, I would hope that everybody will try and do everything they can to support the Seven Beats project. So I want to encourage a regeneration in the town centre and at the same time deter people who would otherwise be engaged street drinking and irresponsible and criminal behaviour in this area. And there's no doubt in my mind that the growth in the number of outlets selling alcohol in this part of the world, such a small geographical area, has been a major factor in the number of antisocial behaviour and drink-related incidents. And I know, I'm sure we all know, of people who tell us, I won't go to Birkenhead Town Centre anymore because of the problems associated with it. Some of, that, some of those might be people's perceptions of the town centre.